Deputy Director of Medical Services. Uh, we have received we have received consignment of drugs uh, for the for the three big hospitals: Sheolo County Teaching and Referral Hospital, uh, Gerbatula Level Four Hospital, and Marty Level Four Hospital. Uh, because of congestion in Kemsa, uh, and and the fact that we had the urgent need for these drugs, we were able to get the the, the, the drugs for these uh, three big hospitals. But for the level twos, uh, that's our dispensary, and the level three is our health centers. The consignment is going to come from towards the end of this week and uh, early next week. So, from the end of this week to early next week, the, the consignments for the all the uh, health facilities within Sierra County is the cause of the But the drugs are still there, just we want to restock them. But uh, the consignment for this quarter is coming uh, for the dispensaries and uh, the health centers. They are, coming, they are going to come towards the end of this week and early next week. Uh, uh, to usher in our new CEC, actually I have officially handed over her to that department. Now I think uh, she will be answerable on behalf of this government. Uh, I know there are a lot of challenges in this department. Despite about that, I know she's competent and she's up to the task. Otherwise, uh, as, as a head of uh, public service, I've moved around and I've seen everything is operating. Our staffs are there on the ground. The issues, issue of promotion, we will sit with the union officials. This government has the workers at the heart. I know His Excellency, the governor loves them. We will review that. We we'll look at the promotion of all of our staffs, not only health workers, including also other departments. So before the end of the year, I think we will conclude that, we will look into that. We have challenges also with finance bill, which has flopped, you know. We have challenges with exchequer also, where we also receive uh, monies from exchequer, uh, uh, not in time, those challenges are there. But we are assuring our people that in the course of this week, their salaries will be factored in. And be assured that we are actually working in progress and make sure that promotion, we are looking into it. Otherwise, I'm appealing to all of them that service to mankind is service to God. So wherever you are, please, because of God, at the end of the day, you are accountable to God. The little you know give services to the people of Sierra County. Yeah, the share, the, anything, uh, this is a new product which has a lot of challenges. But I know as the time goes by, everything will be solved. You have heard uh, the CEC has said, let us, people should go and register, even members of the public, including our workers. Challenges are there, but I think very soon it will be over. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Abari Zen. Yeah. Uh, I'm Lucy Kaburu the new incoming CECM for health in this county. Uh, I'm here today and very happy, excited, making a, a visit to this facility. And thank you for the warm welcome. Uh, I've visited several, several units and I'm very happy and excited because the facility is working. Everybody is doing what is supposed to do. All the staff are, are really busy and they are doing good work. Uh, this facility is quite a big facility. It is serving all our uh, county, uh, small, small dispensaries. And I'm glad that they are really coordinating well with the outside sub-county level up to dispensary levels. I've seen how they work together and the enforcement. I'm also very happy because there, were, there was a disbursement of drugs in this facility, a lot of drugs which will serve. Uh, Garibatura, Garibatura has received, budget has received, and this facility has received. And also, I'm quite happy because of the many units that I've seen. I've seen the, the renal, which is working, the laboratory, which is well. And also, the staff are very, very motivated and they are doing good work. Thank you, our staff. Also, another thing I've noticed is that apart from the politics that is going around, the morgue is working and it's good. They even receive some body from outside and it's working. This facility is working. And here I am to support you to really encourage you and also to, to, to promise that we'll work together, we'll do great work to this community or Isioro community people and we'll deliver what you're supposed to deliver to this county. Thank you for the medics, the support staff and all the staff, the, the staff who are in this facility. 
And as it's really talked outside, I've been surprised. People are on duty and they are doing their job. So let us leave politics alone and do what we are supposed to do. We are civil servants. We should really deliver to our facilities. Also, we have a broader picture and I've heard that they have a lot of priorities. And we are going to steer them. We are going to, to spearhead them. And I'm sure that our able governor is really, really, really supportive and will support us to achieve what we've not achieved. Also, we have some challenges here and there. And we are going to address these challenges together because I know that if you work as a team, we will deliver. Because we have very qualified staff in these facilities. Very qualified doctors, clinic officers, nurses. And if you hold hands, we will really deliver the big agenda of this facility. What I would really encourage here is accountability. Also, we really have to, uh, to, to be diligent in what we do, how we deliver our services. And I'm sure that we will not be only working for the community, but also God in heaven will bless us. You are one of the departments that is really critical and that really serves, a, I think, a, 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 a very, very difficult situation. A sick person who can't even speak for himself. A sick mother, a pregnant mother who is in labor. So you are key, you are very critical as, as a county. We really, really appreciate you as a team and we'll give you all the support that you require to do your services. Uh, okay, we, have a, we also have a transition from NHF to SHA. I would really encourage people and you, the staff, we really talk to our community so that they can register with SHA. It's a good program and it will really, really uh, support us in this facility. And I know We've been doing good with NHIF. Why not share? So encourage our people, our communities, and also uh, enlighten them. I think we should do a program to really, really create awareness to this so that they understand and they register. Okay. Yeah, it's a new product which we are all learning, but so far we have a good coordination with the national government and they are very supportive. Like, for example, last week there was a CCS meeting today, the strategies of SHA, and it is really working in the facilities that it has been tested. So we are there and I know our staff are supporting it and we'll achieve it, even though it's gradually but we'll be there. Okay, the MOG is working and still we are on the progress of equipping it and also upgrading it. And for now, we currently have a capacity of eight, eight bodies, and which is very safe and working, very working. And still we are also looking on a, how to still, still expand and enlarge the MOG. And also we have some team there working for the, for the same, is it? Yes. The procurement process of yes. the, the same. Mm.